I'm Drew Stevenson, and this is a video for my professional responsibility class about ABA Model Rule 1.9. This is part four. I promise it's the last one of my videos about 1.9. And 1.9 covers conflicts of interest with previous clients or former clients who you no longer represent. Um, the rules are a little different than for current clients. I hope that you'll watch the other videos um, about this rule before this one. And here we're mostly focused on 1.9 C, uh, which deals with using information that you learned even on an unrelated matter uh, for, uh, against a, a former client and comments eight and nine. So this is going to be a short video just dealing with the information issue. So it says that Rule 1.9c provides that information acquired by the lawyer in the course of representing a client may not subsequently be used or revealed by the lawyer to the disadvantage of the client. Now we're going to have other rules in the course, especially 1.6, that deal with the duty of confidentiality that are broader than this. And we also have a rule under 1.8, you may remember, about conflicts of interest and using information to the disadvantage of a client. And this is specifically about former clients and how you're using the information. Now remember that 1.9 is primarily about lawyers changing sides in the same or a substantially related matter. And that could be a transactional matter or a, a litigation matter. But C covers the other issue, which is that you got confidential information that even in a, on a different type of case, a different even area of law, could be used strategically to the disadvantage of your prior client. And 1.9 tries to stop that or prevent that. Comment 8 says, the fact that a lawyer has once served a client does not preclude the lawyer from using generally known information about that client when later representing another client. So we're not talking about all information. We're talking about specific information that would be material and relevant and actually really disadvantageous that you maybe wouldn't have otherwise known but for the representation. But if it's information that even a new lawyer on the case, if, if your new client had gone to a different lawyer who hadn't previously represented the other party, would that lawyer have been able to find out this information with a little bit of an inquiry and investigation or something like that? Um, if it's a generally known fact, if they could do a Google search and find it out, then it's not confidential information for purposes of 1.9c. The provisions of this rule are for the protection of former clients and can be waived if the client gives informed consent, which consent must be confirmed in writing under paragraphs A and B. So keep in mind for test questions that this always depends a little bit on whether the previous client will give consent. Um, notice here we're talking about waiver, again, using waiver almost interchangeably with consent to the conflict. Um, they're, if they're waiving uh, uh, consent, then we don't really have an issue. It has to be in writing, as you'll remember from 1.9 A and B. So even if you previously represented the opposing party, let's say in litigation or the other party in a transactional matter, and you have all kinds of confidential information that you could use against them, if they give consent, it's okay to, pr to proceed with the representation. Keep that in mind. Sometimes MPRE questions will sort of sneak in at the end um, of the hypothetical that the other side actually did give consent. And you need to watch for that because that means that the lawyer would not be disqualified from proceeding with the representation. And that concludes our short lecture about confidential information under 1.9c.